All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. And I am talking about an over-the-top spectacularly gorgeously beautiful day here in the end times in paradise in the shithole little town of uh, Candor, New York looking like a ghost town and it, that would be Thursday September 21st 2023 so I was thinking today was the last day of summer of 2023 but I guess the tomorrow is the last day Anyway, but I am spending the last day of my 63rd year, or is it the last day of my 64th year? I've never really known how you how you draw that line. So uh, here's what I am doing with my on my spectacularly gorgeous day. So this little dog has gotten uh, something in his goddamn stomach. I mean, literally, not through his mouth, through the, the uh, goddamn skin of his stomach. I don't know what this little fucking dog has gotten himself into uh, that, that's down there. I thought it was what I call a burdick one of these little seed pods with a bunch of seeds kind of like you know maybe a, a spider uh, with 400 uh, with with 400 eggs I, anyway so that's what I thought I thought this thing was and so I'm thinking you know this thing is right under the surface so I just took the little dog up to uh, the Amish woman. So, uh, <laughs> oh God, I should have filmed it. So, she gets out the scalpel and slices this boil. And we were just assuming that. I mean, she went. She went deep. Uh, we we were assuming that when she sliced open this nasty, disgusting boil, that we were gonna find this uh, damn burdick. And uh, so we sliced it open and fleshed it out with uh, hydrogen peroxide and nothing came out. So now the dog, now we've managed to slice his stomach open. Uh, good fucking God, probably needs three stitches. And, uh, but, but anyway, it's all kind of irrelevant uh, because uh, we didn't find it anyway. So now I've got to take him to the vet tomorrow. He's scheduled for surgery tomorrow. So they're thinking around $300 uh, to dig this fucking thing out of him. They have to give him a full uh full body anesthesia which always makes me nervous as hell uh good fucking god so that's my morning and now i get to go take the fucking bloody ass dog back and uh put him inside and then i get to head to the fucking doctor uh to deal with, with these goddamn ears of mine so I have spent all fucking morning dealing with, with, with this goddamn dog uh, and now I am off to the fucking doctor myself to deal with my goddamn uh, in, in ear infections. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh yeah, in the middle of all this I just went and paid $1,029 to the uh, to the uh, fucking school district, to the Candor School District, thousand twenty nine fucking dollars. I'm I'm sitting there getting the uh, money order from the woman at the post office, you know, telling her, you know, I said, you know, 
I said, I have easily spent $100,000 uh, schooling kids that I never had. I said, I've never had a kid in my life, and, and I have spent, I know, $100,000. No problem, $100,000. Educating other people's children. And she goes, well, she goes, I have three kids in the Candor public school district she goes I really appreciate it sir you educating my children <laughs> uh, I said well you're so kindly welcome I said I am glad at least somebody appreciates my hundred thousand dollars oh fuck yep it is 64 degrees at noon September 21st but uh, anyway get out there and uh, lance your boils and unplug your ears and pay your thousand dollars to educate some other clueless fucking morons little bundle of fucking joy I'm so sick and fucking tired of everything uh, what a, what a fucking week this has turned into. Uh, Jesus. This is how I am enjoying this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous weather. I, I have so goddamn many things uh, I need to be doing out there in my yard. So many plants I need to be planting and mowing and all of this. And I'm sitting there spending my whole fucking life motherfucking vets, motherfucking doctors, motherfucking tax collectors to educate some others, clueless motherfuckers, motherfucking little bundles of motherfucking joy. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. I, I get so fucking tired of this whole fucking deal. I mean, th th this is how we spend our lives, people dealing with this fucking bullshit what do you think little dog have you had enough of this fucking bullshit and now you've got a big gaping wound in your stomach that can't get any dirt in it so uh you're gonna be sitting on the living room couch until you're off to the vet getting knocked out <sighs> Get me off of this fucking planet. Bye, guys.